All right, so I'm going to cover uh, in this video real quick how to modify the graphics that are preloaded in an Eclipse controller. And um, you can do this for any of the fixed I.O. controllers that ship with a preloaded Express Envision project. So this is going to include uh, the 303, the PTU, TU series controllers, as well as the VAV. Um, so I got a ECY 303 here that I found using uh, Express Network Utility. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, right click and open it in the web browser. So from this point, I can log in. Uh, the default credentials are going to be username admin, password admin. And the very first time that you log in, it's going to force you to change that password. So make sure you keep track of that. And uh, we do have videos on the uh, Disk Tech Controls forum that go into best practices when setting up Eclipse controllers, including how to do user management so that when you have uh, you know, sites with lots of Eclipse controllers, they're using a central user database. Uh, once you're in the web UI, uh, you can hit the Envision Launch button. Um, your um, ECY 303 out of the box should take you directly to an Envision project. Um, this is a demo controller though, so I've got it loaded up with a bunch of Envision projects. So that's why I had that selection. So when you hit the Launch button, it should take you directly here. Uh, with a brand new controller out of the box. So this is the preloaded graphic and this was built in an environment called Express Envision. Um, there's two environments if you're not familiar with the Envision graphics engine where you can build graphics and that's the uh, studio or designer environment and then there's Express Envision and Express Envision is, a, um, is an entire templated project that was built inside of the studio environment to make it easier to put together graphics. So um, because of that, we can get behind the scenes of Express Envision without needing a studio or designer license. And the little hack to do that is right inside the URL bar, you'll see uh, a string that says mode equals view. If you change that view to edit and hit enter, this will take you uh, to the back end of Express Envision. And now from this point, um, you've got your style, style manager, your navigation builder, yada, yada, yada. And we can go in and we could, uh, you know, clone and modify our style for the, uh, the site. Or we can um, go into the navigation builder. We can delete components. We can duplicate components and we can add components. So if I wanted to say build a new graphic, um, I can throw a new template out there, point it to uh, some data inside of the device, and then and then I can go into the page and data creator, and I can edit that graphic. And you can see you have all your component libraries down here. Um, they're still still loading in. Um, so it's a it's a fairly complete library of components. Um, and I'm, we have other videos that go into how to use Express Envision. So I'm not going to go into detail on how to how to actually build the graphics. But um, yeah, that's it.